we've been asked to provide a little illustration of scaling in the GK Plus environment. What I've done here is to make the background white, which is not something we would do in normal drafting, but it helps in making this little video. If you go to the library, plants, and pick standard, all of the symbols in this set, in this set beginning with Uplart symbol, they all come in at a canopy diameter of 1.0. So if I select that one there, there's the scale X of 1 and scale Y of 1. And all of those symbols have been drawn a meter wide or a thousand units wide. So if we dive in here and use our measure tool, you can see we're roughly a meter in diameter. Here's another one over here, which is a little easier to see and to measure from one side to the other. It's very close to a meter. So the standard symbols are one meter canopy diameter. Now there are a number of ways you can change the canopy diameter. The easiest way, I guess, is to select the symbol, right click, pick scale. Then if you click in the middle of the symbol, drag out to the extremity of the canopy, you can move out as I'm doing now. Let me zoom in, move out, make the canopy diameter larger. It's going to be an arbitrary figure, but for most of us, we want some variation anyway, or I could make it smaller by bringing it in. You may notice now over in the properties box has a scale of 0.97, so it's about 80% of the one meter canopy diameter. So scaling can be done simply by changing that number. So I could click in here and I could change. I've got to change both the X and the Y, but there are states sometimes you might want to keep them different. So I can say 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And that symbol is now half the size that it was before. If we swing to the sized set, each of the symbols in the tall trees set has a certain canopy diameter. I think it's three meters from memory. In small, sorry, small trees, two and a half meters in canopy diameter. So if we bring this one in, insert it into the drawing, it's important that you pay attention to this insert block dialog box. If you pick a tick there, you'll be asked to indicate a scale factor as it comes in. If you take that off, It'll come in at a scale of one. So I'll put it in the middle of the lawn so that you can see it. So there's our small plant indicator. If we let's pick it, you can see it's you plant small tree. And its canopy diameter will be something like two and a half meters, one side to the other. And it is. So judging, changing the, the canopy diameter of those symbols just by adjusting a number does get a little tricky. But I would much prefer to use the scale and dynamically scale my symbols up and down. I'd even like to select them and rotate them around a little because what I'm after is a more organic feel to my designs where the symbols slightly vary in size and their orientation vary in size. What we're trying to do is to get a more organic feel to our landscape design work. So I hope that helps in fleshing out, if you like, the scale command in GCAD+.